Oh, thank you, Father God, for a new day. Thank you, Jesus, for waking me up. Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for guiding and protecting us. Father God, I pray for a great day. I pray for a successful day. Continue to watch over me. Continue to guide me. May my basket never be empty. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for making it possible. Amen. Good morning guys. Good morning. I have a lot of washing to do. Well when I say a lot of washing, I mean trainers to be honest. And I've got I didn't do it yesterday night. <laughs> I didn't do it yesterday, not night, sorry, I didn't do it yesterday. Because when I came in, I went, I fell asleep, and then I got high, and then I just, like, couldn't be bothered. So, yeah. It is, is it 5pm over there? Guys, I'm actually, you know, feeling so blessed. I'm feeling so happy. I'm in a good mood. The sun's shining, you know. It's very, very hot. It's hotter than yesterday. It's still a day much. p.m. in the UK. Somebody's selling something. I'm trying to listen to what he said he's selling. Pepper, ginger, onion and scallion. I think that's what I heard the man said. Good morning. It is, oh, five. But why are you writing the five like that? Why are you writing the time like that? Guys, I woke up to the most loveliest news ever. One of my supporters are having twins. Honestly, I got so teary. She's having twins from drinking my dog blood. Yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before, somebody reached out to me to tell me they got pregnant. And today, some girl says she's, get, she's having twins. Like, this is so crazy. Nah, man. Like, I'm actually so happy. Like, I could cry tears for this woman right now. She's having twins. Jesus. Wow. God said, I'm not going to give you one. I'm going to plant two seeds in your uterus. And she's having twins. I screenshotted it and put it on my story. Oh, don't make me cry again. Because when she told me, my eyes was full of tears. Y'all like to see me cry. Y'all need to stop. Every time someone tells me they, they're pregnant, I cry. To be honest. My friend Ebony is pregnant. I'm super, super happy for her. I'm seeing her tomorrow. We're going river tomorrow. Oh, thanks, Richard. I'm telling you, just now, um, just now somebody came and gave me this. My boyfriend's friend. <laughs> this is dog blood. <laughs> but, like, this is probably, like, two. I can probably wrap three dog blood out of this. The rest of them are dry, and I just put them out in the sun. Every morning I wake up, I put them out in the sun. And then bring them in around like five o'clock when the sun goes in, then put them back out again in the sun. They're almost dry, I think one more day. One more day I can probably get all of them to be dried. Yeah, river time tomorrow. I'm thinking, yeah, should I, like don't post my vlog today. Don't post my vlog today. Go river and add the river vlog into that vlog. Because you lot want long vlogs. You lot asking for one hour. Somebody asked me for two hours. I said, ah, Charlie, me, I don't, I don't know if I can do two hours. <laughs> no way. Dog blood is good for... I, how the hell do you pronounce that? I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Right now, they're in the sun. Drying. 
in it and i might as well do that in it i might as well just come i mean the video is already one hour the, the video is like one hour and ten minutes but if i go river tomorrow and cook and everything and add that in we're looking at a two hour content here <laughs> probably like one hour and four, 35 touching 40. so i think i'm going to just do that because everyone's messaged me saying man please post today but I'm trying to make sure you lot get enough enough content. No, I don't do I don't do part one and part two unless I'm doing a story time. We don't do that in vlogs. If it's a vlog, we're just gonna do a long thing. I'm not gonna drink like. My mom was telling me to drink the dog, drink some dog blood, you know. But I ain't drink. I, I drank some Cersei this morning, and all I've been doing is shitting, bruv. I drank some Cersei. It's been making me feel oh. My stomach is feeling weird. Are you gonna do your hair today? I might as well, it? Honestly, my hair has not been my priority right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have wigs for days in my suitcase. I have so many wigs, but my hair's not been my main concern. I've just been so focused on inventory. Like every single day, my goal is to at least wrap at least 50 dog bloods each. I'm going hard this year, sorry. The more people are telling me their results, the more people are saying, Ren, I'm pregnant. The more people are sending me pictures, videos. I just don't want to do nothing apart from rap. Rap the blood. Just, you know. Oh, wow, man. It's just, I feel a bit emotional today, Ren. Don't cry. I was about to cry. <laughs> no. Do you know how many times people tell me that I can't get pregnant? Do you know how many times people call me names? People say I will never have a child. People bring me down. Bro. Oh. It's so overwhelmed. Got to light up. Oh no, I know I can have a baby. I just lost my child. I just had a miscarriage. I had a miscarriage, so. It's done. Like, I'm happy. Like, I'm happy that I know I can conceive with my one tube. I'm happy. But in my life update, I did speak about it. Like, that's one of the topics in my, in my video. Ew, get off me. Don't anyone tell you you can't be full. No, I know I, I know I can. Obviously, there was a point in my life where I thought I couldn't. When I had my tough pregnancy, I thought, oh, I couldn't have a baby. And then I didn't know that my tube was blocked. And then I did an ultrasound and all these things, checkups. And then found out my tube was blocked and inflamed. And then I drank, I drank dog blood and stuff while I, while I was here last year. It's good. It unblocked my tube. When did you have a miscarriage? You'll find out in my video coming. I had an ectopic too. Did you lose your tube when you had your ectopic? When you let me tell you something, when you have an ectopic pregnancy, when you've had your first ectopic pregnancy, there's a high chance that you can have a second one and there's a high chance that you will lose your your next child. The doctor does tell you this and it's on your paperwork as well when you leave the hospital. So Ectopic pregnancy is worse than a miscarriage, I'm not going to lie to you. Some people don't lose their tube, some people just go for the ectopic pregnancy. And then some people end up losing their tube. It's, it ruptures. I try not to put, I, I try not to like talk about most of my business because I'm in a relationship. And I don't really, my haters always have something to say about me. But as open as I used to be, I'm not as open as I am now. Like in my life update video, I speak on my miscarriage that I've had, but I don't go too into detail because we don't have time for that. We move the fuck on, babe. <laughs> yes, babe, who else? <laughs> but at least I know I can conceive. At least I am happy, I'm happy. Even though I lost my child, I'm happy to know that I've conceived, I can conceive though. 
there's hope there. You should have just bought more, you know. <laughs> this is this is like wraps. <laughs> probably four. I can probably get four into this. Yeah, Casey. At least I know I'm happy. Smoking is not good for you, pretty. Uh huh. I know. Ha uh ha. -huh. Don't do that, it's bad. What's bad? When you're ready to have a baby, you will have a baby, a healthy baby. Amen. Thank you, JB. I'm not ready right now, though. It wasn't planned. <laughs> it wasn't. But I'm so happy. I'm super happy that, you know, those that have purchased some dog bloods for me, that are conceiving, that are having babies. I'm so, I don't think you understand. When you know, when you know something works and it's changing other people's life, you know, you, the, the feeling that you get over you is just unreal. I'm trying to start my day and I can't start my day because feel, I'm feeling a bit overwhelming from her message this morning. I'm smoking weed. I'm not smoking tobacco a bit. The way I play your tune every day, big boy. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, girl, pretty voice. Thanks. I'm gonna do my hair, guys. When you see me, <laughs> when you see my hair done, you see my hair done. I think I'm just gonna wear. I'm wearing a wig for tomorrow. I have no time to go sit down and do my hair today. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have shit to do. I have to wash my trainers, my boyfriend's trainers, <clears throat> and I also have. To wrap dog bloods. Then I need to run errands. I've run out. Of, I've run out of um, certain. Um, certain what do you call it? Products. Yeah, I've run out of certain products for my shampoo. So I need to get some essential oils. Um, I need to get what's that thing? Oh, I forgot the word. Does dog blood do anything for man? Yeah, it helps. It helps you with sperm. need to start delivering their babies now i don't think i can deliver somebody's child but i feel like i want to be i feel like i want to be a support system as in like i want to be people's delivery partners i'm sorry but i'm a I'm, I'm a really good delivery partner i think i can deliver somebody's child with them obviously the doctor will do all that shit because i'm not looking up in your front but what i can do is be be there right by your side to support you and you know push push <laughs> Up to ten <laughs> where you get your house dress from please i need to go to walthamstow market and the shop that used to be bardo right at the end of at the end of the traffic lights like right in front of the traffic lights right opposite so right opposite sainsbury's in walthamstow market there's a shop that used to be bardo it's a pink shop but it's not bardo no more it's a different name if you go in there on the lady does them and she does like two for two for twelve pound i think what two for twelve pound or something like that? Some shit like that, bro. Two for two for something. But I bought three. So I bought a green one, a purple one, and a light purple one. And I gave the light purple one to my in-law, my, my boyfriend's mom, because she loves them. Like she wears them as well. What is a doula, Tiff? What is a doula? Breeze, nice, nice, nice. Gonna, I think it's a beach day. Today's looking like a beach day for me. Yeah, it's 11 12. At 12 o'clock, I'm gonna 12 o'clock. I'm gonna do everything I can. Actually, no, Ren, it's best to just do it fucking now so that I can get start doing my makeup and my hair for, for one o'clock and go to the beach. How do you take the tea? So when you order the tea from me, there's an instruction 
there's an instruction um, paper that t tells you exactly how to take it. And I told girl, listen, I said to people on my Instagram today, don't expect the herb to work when you're adding sugar and you're adding syrup and you're adding stuff to it. No, it will not work. You're gonna stop it from working. You want, if, you're, if, you're, if you're taking the tea to get pregnant, if you're taking the tea to help you with your period pains, because the tea helps you with a lot of things. It's not just about pregnancy. But if you're taking the tea to get pregnant, if you're taking the tea to help you with your reproductive system, please don't put nothing in it. Just drink it how it is. It, yes, it tastes nasty. And yes, it's not really nice. But you know what you want it for. Ren, say hi to... Hi, Alex. How are you? Big girl play with big toys. In the middle, every girl in the middle. <laughs> For those who are trying to conceive and struggling or have PCS, it's very important. The step, important step is to limit sugar. I never knew the side effects of... Tiffany, you're lying. I will believe you when you show me a little video on Instagram or a, a picture of your stomach. I don't believe you. I have to see it first. <laughs> he was shocked. <laughs> what? White lives matter. Here we go. Don't come in here and say white lives matter only. Every life in the world matters. No matter what colour you are, black, pink, blue, orange, purple, every single person's life matter in the world. So don't come in here and talk about white lives matter. Every life matters. Every single colour matters. We are all one. It really irritates me when people like you lot come in here with your little stupid comments. New subscriber here. Been watching you since last week. Keep posting. <laughs> Thank you. Let me stop smoking. I'm gonna get fucking out. Right, let me just go and I'm gonna wash this and wrap this quickly. This is the first thing I have to do. This is a mini vlog, okay? This is a little mini vlog. You look and you look enjoy. My tripod, I'm getting my tripod tomorrow. If I had my tripod, I could have put you guys up. Do you know what I mean? Don't tell me water gone. Ah, amazing. I'm sorry that you're so low. If I had my tripod, I'm, I'm getting my tripod tomorrow for my, my friend Ebony. She got me one.
bum back up. So guys, I had to wash the dog blood, I'm about to wrap. Look, look at the ones that I've wrapped. It is fucking drying nicely. Wow. That's one day worth of dry. It's drying nicely. This is my biggest fucking shipment because worm all fucks me up. Benny, stop swearing. Oh boy. So, a new lighter. Every day we get, as a smoker, if you're a smoker, you know every day you need a new light. Every day you lose a lighter. Every fucking day you lose a lighter. It's crazy. Baby, you up? Wakey, wakey. You know, every day you are not a roof worker, and I'm not, uh, am I? No, I'm gonna, I'm wrapping these quick and then I'm gonna wash those. Mm. I think I can make a nice big one for someone. This is like probably like probably like three fucking drinks. Check your message on Instagram. I'm gonna check. I know, but, babe. I didn't tell you. Someone's having twins. A girl messaged me and said she um, she bought the batch from October, and she got her big fat positive. Yes, and she's having twins. It's crazy. Ah, I took the read this morning. Why are you speaking like a foreigner? You sound like American right there. <laughs> my dad told me to burn one hole in my clippers now. No one can teeth me. Burn one hole in the lighter? Oh, they're marking it, oh. This one here is a lot of roots. This is a good one. The more root, the better. Do you sell it by a plant? I sell it like, what do you mean? And also, I'm going to be making the drinks as well. So, like, some girls don't know how to make it, even though I have put instructions in the packaging. So, what another option is, if you can't be able to make it and you want to order it from me, you can just order it already made and just store it in the freezer or the fridge. Yeah, I have the bottles. I'm going to show you guys the bottles in the basement. I call it a basement because it's where, they, where, where we store things. So, Um, the, re the reason why I we leave the root on it because that's where a lot of the the benefits are from is the root. So a lot of the benefits is from the root. These are some big ones. This person is going to enjoy this. I'm just, I'm just gonna make this a fat one, to be honest. It's, just, it's gonna take longer to dry though. No, it's too big.
No, I don't. It doesn't. Not diabetes. I think you you need sour sap. You need sour sap leaves. Sour sap leaves. Okay, mama. Sour sap leaves. <coughs> For that. If you've got cancer, diabetes, sour sap leaf. Tiffany, I'm going to check my gym, okay, when I come off live. I'm not going to be on live for too long because we have shit, I have shit to do today and a lot of content to do. So, and plus I need to do my hair. I need to do my hair and my makeup, so that's going to take me at least an hour. I think I'm going to do it as quick as I can. I think I want to wear a, a, my, my 28-inch frontal wig, but fuck, you know, I'm going to be hot as fuck. gonna be let me know if i should do my bonnets again people have been saying to do my bonnets again so let me know if you think i should do my bonnets again i'm gonna do my hair glues again Whoa. what are you eating for dinner baby girl baby girl said dinner dinner it's 11 26 in the morning 11 26 in the morning babe <laughs> dinner's nowhere near my phone's going to be on charge I don't think I have time to let you lot watch me do my makeup plus I'm trying to be as quick as I can and get out the house so I did that shit so fucking quick. Are you dumb? I did this shit so quick. I don't know if you lot can see me. Hold on. Put these two in the sun. Woo! It is hot. Mm -mm. It's too hot. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I can't, uh, I need sunscreen. Fuck that. Right. You're gonna, you're gonna be able to see. Oh, let me show you. So, these bottles, wait, let me wrap my camera. There's a lot of mosquitoes in here, pussy clad. You mother suckers, I'm gonna come and suck my skin. So, these are for my skincare that's launching in april in april i have my skincare that i started last year but put that on a pause i'm gonna be starting my skincare again so these are for the turmeric face mask these are for the face mask and stuff these bottles are for the shampoos these containers here that i have are for the aloe vera face gel these bottles are more shampoo bottles and conditioner bottles. The only thing I need to go and get today is the castor oil bottles. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Um, these I got from TK Maxx my, for our home that we're doing. Me and my boyfriend are currently working on something. So, and the renovation in his house and stuff. I just I saw this and it was on a, in a this was on a great deal. Um, I think I got this for the whole set was fifteen pounds. The whole set I think was fifteen pounds. Yeah, it was on a clearance and I thought, nah, this is so cute. Then I just bought this because this was on sale and I thought, you know what? I can put my makeup brushes in there. Stop fucking telling me, ask me if I'm fucking gay, you stupid bitch. The fuck are you coming in here? Ask me about my sexuality. I'm fucking straight. Love cocky to the day I die. Fuck is wrong with you? Fuck sake! Every minute you come in here, ask me if I'm a fucking a lesbian or what? Like shit, man. Yeah. 
Anyways, yeah, back to what I was saying. This was on sale. Can't remember how much I got this for. This was not cheap. TK Maxx. TK Maxx. And the set from TK Maxx. I also, I also got this for my makeup room that we're going to sort out. I got this nice little makeup drawer. Sorry that the, look, the counter looks like this because there's re renovation going on. All right, babe? So please, I don't want no one to say, oh, look at the counter. It's not like renovation's going on. That's why it looks like this. As you can see, look, there's the cement, cement. So renovation's going on. Towels got to go on the floor and shit. Anyways, so this is my makeup. And I bought this, I bought this as well. I thought, yeah, this, this is cute. Like, yeah. So my makeup room is going to look really beautiful. I'm not going to lie to you because some stuff I've literally put in barrels. I have I put a lot of stuff in my barrels and stuff for my makeup room. But yeah, just wanted to show you. Um, and these, these are my soap containers. These are my soap containers, how I make my soaps. Because you know how my skin is. I've been making my own soaps like Kojic and Papaya. I make it from scratch. More lids more bottles here and this is you know for you not to see this is a smell as well so as you can see guys i'm standing on business this year and look this is some dog blood that are dried waiting for the other ones to be added so that we can ship other than that let me tell you something i don't care when people are dragging me on social media because I'm working, I'm actually working, I'm actually doing things like I'm busy. Happy International Women's Day. Ha hey I would have told I would have told Lexa to play something, but Lexa's this that is thinking Lexa is bullshit. I think I'm gonna start my washing now. Oh my god, fuck God give me the strength, please. The sun is crazy right now. Wow. But give me the strength to wash all my trainers, leave them in the sun to dry, and we start the day and go out and vlog. <laughs> Wait! Wow, that's not th that's nothing. Casey, I'm trying to do 500. We are down. We've we've basically got 200 dog buds to ship, but I want to sh um I want to I need 500. I need 500 dog buds. That is my goal because the fact that Royal Mail, I probably have to do more than that. Royal Mail lost basically half my shipment, and I've claimed in short, I've claimed um compensation, so I'm in battle with them for that. So it's like I have to, I've refunded basically everyone off my website, cancelled it all and refunded them. But people that place orders through DMs, I have to find, I have to obviously replace their, replace their what's it called, their item from what happened. Even though I've asked them if they want a refund, but girls just really need the herb. Like, it's like, bitch, I need the herb. Fuck the money. Get me that herb. <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing. I think tomorrow we're definitely going to do my hair, but I have to travel very far. Listen, I don't know if I want to pay. You, let me ask you that for buyers. So, I have a braider. She's charging me eight grand to do my hairstyle which is not the sprays. She's charging me 8,000 JMD. There's another girl that's charges 5,000 JMD. But her work is okay and it's a wearable, but it's not, wow, who did that? Then the girl that's 8,000, I've, I've used her before. I've used her before. I don't know if you don't remember last year when I was in Jamaica and I was friends with that girl, Flush Toilet, and our hair was extremely long. That hairstyle. I have someone that can do that for me. And that's, that's eight grand. Eight grand. Eight or six. Wait, eight grand. No, it's eight grand. But there's another girl that, that's based in another parish. And she is incredible. When I tell you... When I tell you... Look at my face in fucking incredible insane like her work is crazy she charges 30 grand so i'm in two minds i don't know but i'm trying to save and if i save more i can do more if i save more i can do more content 
I'm trying to manage my money because I'm saving, you know, working on a big project right now. And the more I save, the more it can go to my project and also go to my content. Because on YouTube, one thing about YouTube, one thing about YouTube, yeah, you have to spend money to make money on this platform. That's why I don't know why a lot of people feel like, oh, being a YouTuber is easy. No, baby, being a YouTuber is an investment. You have to spend money for you to see that money. So don't think, oh, because I'm vlogging, money is not being spent. Baby, I have to spend money to make the best content ever so that I can make great money off of it and so that my supporters are very happy about it. Do you know what I mean? So 30 is great. Yeah, she charges 30 grand for a knotless braids, but her work is absolutely insane. Like, wow. And the other girl's eight grand. So who, like, what do you think? What do you think? You gotta give me advice. No, I see it on her. I see it on her fucking website. I see. I see thirty grand for her style. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty thousand for this. No, she's actually. I think they're talking about no, thirty thousand JMD is not forty pounds, babe. I think the eight grand is forty pounds. Yeah. True. Some month is yeah. There's no point me spending 30,000 on a hair that I'm gonna probably take out in two weeks time because everyone that knows me knows I don't like keeping shit on my head. I don't, I don't know, I always feel like I'm being held down. Like I don't know what, what it is, but every time I have something on my hair for a long period of time, I start to feel like claustrophobic. I start to feel like somebody's holding me down in my sleep or something like, my head just feels so heavy. Like I don't like that feeling, that's why. I always cut my hair. I always cut my hair. And if I have a wig on my head, I take it off within like 48 hours. I honestly cannot deal with it. And, mm -mm. So I think I'm just going to go for the eight grand one. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's the plan, to go for the eight grand and just do my hair. I do miss having braids. I feel like if I had braids, it would be just a thing where I can just like get up and sort myself out and go. I don't have to do my hair and that. I can just do my makeup and just go and just catch up my hair in a nice little bun. <laughs> I would never do a leave out again. Never. I done a leave out and my hair fell off. Why didn't nobody tell me? None of you lot couldn't tell me, Ren, don't do it. Your hair's gonna drop out. But I did a leave out and every one of my, like my hair broke. My hair broke. It was thin. Like, and I have thick hair, so I don't even know what the hell was going on. So I would never do, I would never do Levi again. Never, ever, 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 crazy. Fucking shit. Okay, these are the wash, the shoes that I have to wash. These are some of them, I have to go and get the rest. So these are the shoes that I'm about to wash. Look at my Jordans. Look at my Balenciaga. <laughs> nah. No, let me go and set. Let me let me let me go and set the fucking bucket, yeah? Because shame, I killed me. <laughs> As a top girl, I left to go to England and I left all my stuff in the basement. What a tramp, Renee. Really. I don't care. I'm fucking. I, I don't have time to do certain stuff. Bro, guys, my shoes dirty, you know. Blanks, you're gonna cost me a bag. Oh my god. <laughs> Move. I'm gonna vlog in the shade. That's the only way I can't. I can't do this in the sun. I probably faint. Ah! Why does this wasp won't go away? Ugh. Hey, I'm funny, you know. That's why I don't understand how people can hate me, bro. You know, this is why I don't understand. Come here, sir. This is why I don't understand, yeah, how people can have an issue with me. I'm lit as fuck. Can't tell me none. Hey. Set my little bucket. Set my little bucket, man. Shoes are for watching, no? Go wash my little shoes then, babe. Mad Oh my god, bro. Are you dumb? I've never worn these in my life. I've never worn these. I've never worn these. 
No, it's hot. Bro, I've never worn these, you know, and look at my shoes. I already blood clot this now. It's crazy. Renee, I'm actually disappointed. Renee, I'm disappointed in you. I think I should just donate this to somebody in Jamaica. Should I? I you know, I've never worn it. Should I keep them or give them away? I've never ever worn them. Oh my days. This is bad. Never worn them. Oh. No, sir. Watch my, watch my Balenciagas. Mighty God. Yeah, Renee, you have forgotten today. You have forgotten, man. I feel like one country girl. That's a up, man. I said up. Mighty God of Daniel. Nah. Look at my Yeezys. I can count on one hand how many times I've worn these. And they've been in the, in the in the basement. My nice black cloud Jordans basement. I don't even wear trainers like that, babe. I just feel like to be. I think I'm gonna have to put some skin out on because, hey, Atina, what? What a hot day. Oh wait, hold on. Are you in the cold? <laughs> you to book a fucking flight on skyscanner pack your fucking suitcase and get the fuck out that cold babe because i'm in jamaica and i'm boiling hot like i take five showers a day baby we <laughs> we behind the tropical trees honey y'all need to book a flight and get out of the uk or canada get out Bumba cloud, me a chat up on water and the water I run over. Yes, Father God. Yes, my bucket will overflow with blessings in Jesus' name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my girl. It's a mad blood cloud, girl. Now, who's the cloud bucket drop now? Mad girl, Renee. What do I wash shoes with then? Somebody, what am I supposed to wash the shoes with? Can I, can I use fab soap? Fuck man, it's hot man, I'm getting miserable now. Trusting God, when Why did you say it like that? You remind me of that girl. Trusting God. Trusting God, Ren. You know? You know what, Ren? You know what, Ren? You just gotta have a leap of faith, friend. You know, you just gotta trust in God, friend. I hate how I can speak just like her. Fuck. Oh my God, I'm so fucking stupid. Why would I throw the water out right here? Girl. Whoop, 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 <laughs> you 
did it spot on. Bro, guys, it's hot. I'm gonna have to put a belly top on and some batty rider shorts because I can't. Everything needs to be free up. I had a pump on me for free, Kama. Can I take this out here, man? The pumpkin. Oh my gosh, did I tell you that the pumpkins are growing so beautifully? The pumpkin batch is so cute. Mm -mm. Right, Ren, come on. We cannot procrastinate. We gotta wash these shoes. I'm coming back. I'm gonna go get the rag and salt. Guys, would you believe me if I told you a mango fell in my fucking head? What the fuck? Ah! Oh. What the fuck? Fucking bitch. Have some salt. Oh, no, sir. No, my head. My chat too fucking much. You know, it's Tia. It's Tia that did that to me because how all of a sudden I pretended to be, I pretended to do her voice and mango dropped my fucking head. The bitch is watching me. It's she. Right, girls, I'm going to have to leave you now because, you know, content I have to make. I have to record this. I'm washing my trainers and I'm going to the beach to go eat some good blood clot of fish. Yeah? You see, when you have life, you have everything that you need. For me, I have life, that's everything that you need. And sometimes in life, you just have to make a way for yourself. I woke up this morning. I woke up blessed. I woke up happy. I can walk. I can talk. I'm not feeling pain in my body. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everything that God has in store for me. I'm grateful for everything that's happening for me. I'm wishing happiness on every single person that's in this live right now. Love and God alone we are the will. Yeah? From your other life, you have everything you need. You just have to get up and go work for it. Rome wasn't built in a day. And don't think you're going to sit on your backside and things are going to be handed to you. Get the fuck up and go work for what you want. Get up and go work for what you want. We're not rich. We are poor. That's why when people think I got money, I said, no, baby, I'm broke, baby. I'm broke. Don't, don't look at me if it really have money. I'm a trying girl, I'm a hustler, and I'm a go-getter. Work, get up. Because if, if I sit down in my bed all day, and if I expect things to be handed to me on a, on a, on a silver plate, then I won't get nothing in life. You have to get up and go and work for what you want. So if you're doing that, if you're doing a retail job right now and you're working in a retail store and you hate going, baby girl, just understand that's not your destination. That's just your way up. So if you got to do 20 shifts to make a certain type of money, if you have to work the whole month to make a certain type of income, do what you got to do, babe. Do what you got to fucking do. Do you understand? Because at the end of the day, we're not trying to go down, we're trying to go up. So don't let nobody out here make you feel bad because you're working a nine to five. Oh, we all got to start from somewhere. You can, you can work a nine to five for a whole month and become absolutely disgusting rich in 24 hours. You don't know your type of journey. You don't know what God's got in store for you, babe. Trust and fucking believe that. Please. So give God thanks, you know, move with love in your heart and continue to praise God and have a great effing day.
I'm gonna leave you lot now. Oh, this cat. What do you want? Cat, I, I saw you. What do you want? What do you want? Don't get too close because you ate the fucking chicken. You're bright up by yourself. Move for me. Excuse me, sir. You took the chicken out of the, the house. I need you to back up before I, 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 I literally send you over the fence. You're all tired out. You're going to take people's dinner. Wait a minute. Hey! I'm Winter's mother. I'm not yours. Come take the chicken. I'll never forgive him for that. Fuck that. Come take people's chicken. You know, I had to go, might have to go to bed hungry because the shops was locked. Bro, nothing hurts more when you're looking out for a meal and your mind's been on that meal all day. And then when you go and eat the meal, the local nasty animal has taken the meal. Right, the cat needs to go over the fence. Come take people's chicken. Fucking rude. The cat is hungry too. It's not my cat. Let me tell you something here, yeah, because some of you that don't have no sense. In Jamaica, people have their pets that they don't let go outside unless they're going out in their yard, right? Just because you see a cat doesn't mean you should be friendly with the cat. Jamaican animals are completely different from the UK. I tell you that for free. Jamaican animals are completely different from the fucking UK. A lot of the, these cats are stray cats. These are not clean cats. These are cats that live a wild life out here that can pick up any disease and come give it to you. So let me tell you, none of you lot tell me nothing. The cat, I don't want a cat around me. It's simple as that. I don't know where the cat's coming from. I just got a fucking email. Who's, hold on a second. Like I said, like I, I got an email, sorry, I had to check my email. Like I said, a lot of these cats that you see in Jamaica are stray animals and don't get too friendly with them. Do not, because a lot of them have rabies, a lot of them carry disease, they have infection because they live out in the streets, they don't get no love, nothing, no care, they eat anything. They eat absolutely anything. So when you see me running a cat, when you see me running a Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Now? Can you hear me now? Right. I'm saying don't feel no type of way when you hear me running the cat. You understand? At the end of the day, I love animals, don't get me wrong, and I love cats as well, but the cats that come around are stray cats. And for some reason, I don't know why the cats love this yard. Every time I wake up, there's six cats literally laying down in the, in, in, in the driveway. Like, why? You need to go. And you know, they're hunting for food. They are hunting for food. I told you, this is the second time this cat has stolen food from the house second time first it was the raw chicken now he took my fried chicken and i'm pissed off at the cat because the whole day i was starving and I, I was thinking in my head yeah i'm going home i'm going home to my kfc like i'm going home to eat my zinger box meal and my fried chicken i left it on the table i come the fucking cat is eating out my food so you tell me if you're not going to get upset babe the cat has no right to be in the house. He is not supposed to be there. We don't know where he's from. We don't know who he is. He's a stray animal that every time he keeps finding his way in the house. Do you know how hurtful that is? I had to literally last night, I couldn't order food and we couldn't go out because it was so late in, at night time. Who's gonna go to Kate? Like everywhere is closed. So I had to drink. A bottle of water, a one litre bottle of water and drink my coke and go to fucking sleep. 
and then I had tuna and sweet corn and crackers from the barrel. So don't come tell me. Don't fucking tell me. Oh, don't be hope with a cat. I'm not a cat owner. I left my dog in the UK. My mom's looking after my dog while I'm on fucking vacation. So I'm off anim animal duty. I'm off animal duty. I live my best life but outside as a big woman. So when I go back to London, I'll go back into mummy mood. No, I wouldn't kick the cat. The cat needs to go over the fence. Tell me a friend, do you have to kick the cat for the cat to go over the fence or you can just pick it up and throw him over the fence? And plus, I would never do that anyway. I just said it. But I would never touch that. Look how dirty he is. Listen, just just shout, shout at them and tell them to move in that, but you don't have to touch them. Man, these cats got herbies and disease, you know. Somebody said, don't kill it, boot it. No, don't do that, babe. No, don't. He's got a feet. Listen, they got feelings, trust me. They got feelings. Just sh one thing about these cats, when you shout at them and say, move, they move. So you don't even have to do anything to them. Just shout at them and then they'll go. Literally, shout, shout at them and they go. Somebody said, break it. You know you're a horrible human being. Why don't you go break the foot that's on your body? They're talking about, oh, break it, break it. No, break you, bro. You're too outside her. Can I say something? That cat has a mum. In case you don't know, that cat has a mother and siblings that has abandoned him. So it's not nice to say I should break the cat and harm the poor innocent cat. The cat's only innocent when he's not teething from me. But I want my chicken back. He needs to, the cat needs to open up his stomach and come give my blood clot, bar barber fried chicken. He's out of order. My barbecue chicken that I got from KFC, you wanna come teeth my food. I'm so sorry, As I, every time I see that cat, I will have some form of, you know, leave her hat alone, it suits her. Why don't you go, listen, did my hat tell you it needs to be fixed? And the chat to us, Clark Marsh, man. Sitting here washing my trainers as a blood clot type girl. I want to some girl. Some girl can't blood clot, God don't know, you know. Some girl, God don't know. Some girl can't even whine. Them big and shit bad like one. Well. Imagine having a king bed and you're taking up your king bed and you're so fucking big. I mean, I can't relate, mate. Like, when you look at Balenciagas, why are Balenciagas so big? They look like tumba boots, like. Yo, this is the shoes that you need to kick off a girl face with, you know, and send her into coma. Bro, anyhow you kick a girl with these shoes, she's gone into coma for fucking 40 days and 40 nights. Look at, look how big and, big and, nah, sir. Let's see what Wash my shoes them, hang up my shoes them for dry, and do my ear, and do my blood clot wig. Yeah, girl. Go outside, beach me a girl. Why should I stay home when I'm in Jamaica with the sun shining, and you motherfuckers are in the UK in your bed, probably depressed, probably watching your favorite, you know, soap proper. I don't know if you don't watch Emmerdale in here, but if you do watch Emmerdale, you're very old. It's EastEnders or nothing, baby. What is Coronation Street? That's oh, shit, bro. So yeah, you know, in your bed. What did you do? Just go on your Uber Eats app and just order the takeaway from Uber Eats because um, you can't be asked to go in the kitchen to cook. Is that what you did? Well, I can't believe. Oh, did you? Oh, you're gonna wake up in the morning and put your uniform on and put your clothes on and go and take the London transport. When you're smelling everybody's fucking armpits and bad breath when everybody has to stand over you and then a fat person comes on the train and puts all their weight over you and you're just like oh i know how it feels 
Or are you gonna be that bitch to get up and stop feeling so for yourself because that guy broke your heart? Stop feeling so for yourself because you looked in your balance and you don't see you don't see enough money in there. Stop feeling so for yourself because you didn't get your car that you wanted. Stop feeling so for yourself because you haven't lost weight. Stop feeling so for yourself because shit's not working out for you in your life. Get up. Get up and go do something about it. Get up and go work towards your goal. Get up and make yourself feel better. Oh, the cat's back here again. You all right? Get up. Just get up. Stop feeling so for yourself because I don't feel so for you. I don't. Get up off your ass and go and do something about it and don't feel bad about it and stop laying in your bed Eat, listening to uh, listen to Summer Walker, eating 20 boxes of chocolate and scrolling through TikTok and commenting on people's videos and trolling other people and being jealous of other people. Get up. It starts with you. Get the fuck up. That's what you need to do is get up. Because only you have control of your life. Only you can stop you. Only you can stop your depression thoughts. Only you can make yourself happy. Nobody can't make you happy. I can't. I can't make you happy. I can't tell you how to live your life. I can't choose your path for you. I can't tell you what's good and what's bad. I can't. Only you can. How do you expect to get anywhere in life if you're still in the same fucking position than 2018? You gotta do something, babe. You have to do something. And do you know what? The best time in your life, the best time in your life is to start something for yourself. Is when you're younger. You see, when you're in your, t your early 20s, when you're, furthermore, from when you're 17, from the United Kingdom gives you the right to work in the UK, from you get your national insurance number, you understand? It's the perfect time to build. It's the perfect time to save. From you get your national storage number and you're able to work a nine to five job and you're uh, to work any job in the UK, any pay you get, you save it. Save half your pay and spend half your pay. Open up a savings account and save half your money every single month. And you do that for one year consistently. Baby girl, you're looking to buy your house. You're looking to take, like, take out a mortgage or something. Do you understand? Believe me, if I was younger, I would have told myself this but I never had the right guidance. That's why every time I made a lot of money, I splash it and I waste my money. But you lot, it's not too late because some of you lot are young. So you lot have the right perfect time to start. So when you reach 30 and when you reach your late 20, 20s, you're able to say, you know what? I've got, I bought my house. I'm not renting. I bought my fucking house. Did you get it? I bought my car because I was saving from the age of 17. And now you're 20, what, 29, 30, and you're sitting in your house that is yours. Not, 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 you're not renting, it's yours. You're jumping in your car, in a car that belongs to you because you bought it out, it's not on contract. So my, listen to me, my young soldiers, my killy killies. Don't be following your blood clot friends. You understand? Sometimes you might see your friends them splashing money in a in an LV shop, going selfages, flossing, showing off to niggas that she wants. But just remember why you're doing what you're doing. You're saving, baby. Why they're splashing it. So when they reach when they reach in their late twenties now, they're like fucking hell. Do you know how much money I made when I was sixteen, bro? Fam, I should have saved money like you lot. And then you're looking at her like, well, I got my house, I got my fucking car, and I'm able to travel the world now. While your friend's sitting there like, I don't have it right now, so I can't come. I don't have it right now, so I can't come. You young girls, wise up. Don't follow my footsteps. Because now look at me, I gotta go 10 times fucking harder. Bro. Now I gotta go 10 times harder. Now I gotta go, everything I do, I gotta go harder now. Cause I wasted so much time. Do you understand? When you see yourself making so much money, you get, you get sidetracked. You're like, raw like, I'm actually making money, you know, but you're not even thinking, let me invest or let me save. Wait to it to fucking root. Bop my toe.
Ja, Mann. I mean, Jamaica is the person that keeps asking where I am. It's not a hat, it's a bonnet. Right now, I'm gonna put my phone in charge, play some music. And now I'm gonna actually film some content, then put my phone in charge. Oh my God. This look a dirty cat just ate the muff, the, um, the, the pumpkin. No, I need to call my boyfriend because this cat is getting back to This cat is very disrespectful now. First, you take, people, my, you take my chicken. Now you, you're going to come and fuck up people in garden that they're planting their, um, their vegetables. You're all tired. You need to go down today. Bro, this cat needs to go down. No, this cat needs to go down. My boyfriend is literally, literally plant, like he planted his pumpkins. And this cat is walking with a piece of pumpkin in his mouth. Listen, I'm gonna check in with you later. I need to go and be a snitch. I need to tell my man. I need to tell my man what's going on. 